Let's talk about then bloating because there's a distinction between abdominal fat and bloating that many women, many women are getting both, right? But you also, bloating, however, is something that I do notice. And I and I know that it's bloating, right? Because you can do body composition scans and I'm not seeing visceral fat go up at all. Um, however, I have found, and I know you talk about this actually in your course about the changes to the gut microbiome that happen during perimenopause and how that affects things. And then there's a lot of stuff we can come onto creatine in a moment and whether it does or doesn't cause bloating. But women experience bloating quite a bit, right? And particularly around perimenopause. There seem to me to be so many factors because there's the gut microbiome, there's the hormones, there's also stress, the fact that they're like always on the run, they're not digesting properly, they maybe aren't having so much time restricted eating. Like for me, personally, that's a huge battle because my daughter is so active with all her athletics in the evening that I'm driving her around and so stopping eating at 6 p.m. is almost impossible. So I am eating around 8, 8.30, and then I'm training at 5. And so there's this, you know, there's just that daily load. I'd love to hear from you about bloating. I think it's such a common thing for women. It is very common. Um, part of it is the way that estrogen affects our gut microbiome and our the integrity of our intestinal cells. So we already know that we're having a change in gut microbiome that's a lean towards more of the bacteria that's going to pull out all the possible energy from the food that we eat. So there's more fermentation going on. And as we start to get into these, the fluctuation of estrogen and perimenopause, we start to lose some of the integrity of our intestinal cells. So the mucosal lining erodes a bit more. So we start to have more endotoxins, which are also um, contributing to bloating. So if we're going to try to back it up, I tell women, look, there are two things that we need to do. If if you are hit or miss with our, our you know, not eating after dinner, um, then we know that if you're eating late, that it's going to interrupt sleep. If you have poor sleep, then you're going to have a day of poor uh, metabolic and glucose control. That's just a given. And part of that is bloating because your body's a bit more inflamed and you're having issues there. If we're looking at something that's chronic, like what you're describing, you're out, you're driving your, your daughter around to all of her sporting activities and it's hit or miss with the food, glutamine. If we can get glutamine into the system, five grams, this with creatine helps maintain that mucosal lining, but it also helps with the gut microbiome because glutamine is such an important amino acid. It's used for our immune system. It's used um, to counter some of the fermentation of the lower gut bugs because it's being used by the bacteria as a, a, a bit of a, a fuel metric instead of trying to create a lot of fermentation. And we also see that um, glutamine helps with our muscle too, because if we're totally inflamed and we're having less ability to recover, then we can add glutamine and it helps with that. Yeah, glutamine. That's a good point, actually. I hadn't. I used to take that for, for a while. Interesting. Yeah. So are you yeah. taking that in the evening, in the morning on an empty stomach? How would you recommend? And you mentioned with glutamine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just, just like creatine, just take it. Um, if you start getting into... Yeah, a hot environment. So I'm saying that for those of us who are in the Southern Hemisphere getting ready to get into, hopefully summer comes soon, but the hot environment and trying to get out in those um, hotter workouts. If you put glutamine in your drink, then it helps prevent a lot of the gut disturbances that people have when they first start getting into the seasonal changes. So you'll see people are going for a run and they get overly hot and they have a lot of GI distress. So glutamine will help taper that too. 